I am Naya Okami. You may know me from the meme. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. When I first like realized that I was other kin and Therian, I joined a website for it called Wearlist. I wasn't exactly welcomed. I was actually bullied. I was 12 years old. I didn't really understand how to put my feelings into words and, and people didn't take me seriously. So back in 2011, I founded Community. K-I-N-M-U-N-I-T-Y dot com. It's, it's a clever pun of other kin and community. And today it's grown to be one of the top other kin resources on the internet. Um, we've got something called Kin Spots, which is unique to community. Um, this allows members, we only allow adults to do it. If you're under 18, the function will not work for you. Um, it lets you put your zip code on a map so people can find other kin nearby them. So the, uh, the eastern U.S., I noticed looking on the kin map, tends to have a huge concentration of us. We need to invade the west. Where are my western other kin at? So in addition to being a wolf therian, some have used the term hacker to describe me. I enthusiastically correct them and call myself a security consultant, but that's kind of my other passion. Hacking isn't like the movies. Programming is not like what you see on TV. I present to you what you would see on TV. There you go. Every geek knows about this thing, the, this Hollywood program. Right? It, it's, it was made as a joke to be to simulate what was on TV. And then movie, like production companies started using it as background. Like you might be watching NCIS or something and this, this, this is what you'll see on their screen. But it's old, it's every geek knows about it. It's an old joke, but I still find it hilarious. <laughs> <sighs> So physically, um, I am a British Columbia wolf, um, black fur, amber eyes, and the reason I know this is when I dream, a lot of times I am in my wolf form, and I have also had third-party dreams where I've seen myself, and my thought process, I think, is, is wolf-like. Um, obviously, I don't have a machine that can read the mind of a wolf, but based on observed behaviors of a wolf and their response to stimuli, etc., I feel like it very much applies to me. Uh, spirituality is a part of it too. Um, I, I feel very spiritually connected as a wolf. When I identify as a wolf, I see a wolf and it's an automatic association. It's like, that is me. I don't know how, but that energy, that entire form embodies me. No one wants to be a wolf when it's time to do wolf shit, right? No one wants to think of a wolf like tearing apart a helpless, weak, maimed uh, elk that is the runt of the bunch, right? But wolves do that too. You can't have this idealistic, wonderful view of something that isn't in line with reality and identify as that. When I identify as a wolf, I am a wolf. I'm not saying I'm sadistic and want to tear small animals apart. I'm just saying I identify with wolves because I'm a wolf. These are very special to me for, for more than one reason. Um, somebody very special to me bought these for me at a con that we went to together. Um, and they're, they represent me as a wolf. I'm a, my, I have black fur, this is black fur ears, black fur tail. It's nicely made, it was made at a con by somebody who takes passion in making them, by an actual artist who likes doing what they do, versus these cheap mass-produced tails that fall apart that I bought at Spencer's. I don't dress up like this every day. I have a job, I have a life, I have to be professional, you know, a lot of times, yeah, I'll wear a wolf shirt or wolf jewelry, but, you know, I'll leave the ears and, and the tail at home. If I'm with friends or out in the woods, sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. So when I'm out in the woods, I am, like, completely free. Like, I can run, I can howl, I can bark, I can growl. I could literally do every little wolf expression and just like release all the caged feelings and emotions. Like, there's no one here to really judge me. There's just other animals who would react to me the same way they'd react to another animal. And in fact, you know what? Oh. 
So I've always had a fascination for locks and alarms and stuff like that. Like ever since I was a kid, probably eight or nine years old. I've had a fingerprint lock on my door literally since I was 10 years old. This isn't the same lock I, I upgraded, but. I think a lot of my lifestyle, as human as it is, does tie into my theory and identity. You know, a wolf really wants to protect its den. I want to protect my space. I do a lot of things that may seem very human on the outside that I can equate back to this identity as, as being a wolf. So my transition progress, I came out in 2017, but I didn't actually start transitioning until 2019. On September 14th, um, I filed my paperwork, I went to the newspaper, I did all the steps, and I am legally going to be Naya Okami, and that's, that's gonna be amazing. Um, I have my appointment scheduled for hormone replacement therapy. I've been experimenting with makeup. That actually looks really good. I don't usually put this much on, but I kind of like it. I kind of do this wolfy style, if you can tell. I try and make it look dark and kind of like mischievous, mysterious. I'm still new. I, I need some tips and stuff, but I love expressing myself this way. My facial fur, ironically, being a wolf, I don't like. It makes me really dysphoric. I, I shave a lot uh, to get rid of it. I feel bad to say this, I was really ashamed when I first started having feelings that I was trans. I was proud to be a wolf. I didn't see anything negative about that, but because of society's huge negativity against transgender people, it, it really scared me. And I finally got brave this year to show that. And when I started expressing that, my ambient mood just changed. I was happier. You know, my friends even said, hey, you're not so negative. You're not so pessimistic. And now I get to be all of me and it's so awesome. So you may remember that from my other interview. Unfortunately, that interview was terrible. Um, it was a mockumentary, it was made to poke fun at, it wasn't made to actually inform. I regret going on it. Um, I made a bad impression, a bad representation of myself, and a bad representation of the community. What I don't apologize for, though, is for being open about who I am. I am Ethereum. And I don't feel if I'm living a productive life, right? If, if I have, if I'm healthy, if I'm working, if I'm contributing to society, if I am something and, and express something that's hurting nobody else, I, I don't apologize for that. And I don't think anybody should have to. The other kin community is important because a lot of people who have these feelings, they feel that they're alone. You know, they feel like they can't express it anywhere. You know, some people can't, they don't have this in their backyard. They don't have a place where they can physically let out and howl and run around and, you know, express themselves. So they have to have something. So the online community, it brings people with similar thoughts and ideas and beliefs together and gives a sense of friendship. A lot of that, you know, has been lost throughout the years. There's, there've been elitists in the community, there's been the factions, but really the important thing and the thing that we need to get back to is we're all united in this shared experience. You might be a wolf, I might be a wolf, you might be a tarantula for all I know, but we both have this identification about us with an animal or being, and we are united by that, and we should stick together. Wolves are pack animals. Check me out in the links below. I am all over social media, at Naya Okami Instagram, at Naya Okami Twitter, youtube.com slash Naya Okami, and my own personal website, nayaokami.me. If you're interested in learning more about other kin, community.com, as I have referred to several times. Also, a special shout out to my fans, my friends, and most of all, even if you hate me, the person who got me these ears and tails, because I look fabulous. Oh! Please subscribe to Wizard of Odd TV. You know why you should subscribe? Because epic wolf girls like myself are on his channel. Yeah!